Hello everybody, my name is Waylon JP, and today I'm reacting to The Park Part 2 by Markiplier. Uh, this is part 2 of my reaction. Um, if you didn't see my first part, uh, go check out my channel. It's Waylon JP. It should be just under my, under this video, so you can go check out my videos, all my reactions, all that. So, <clears throat> anyways. Be sure to check out Mike's channel, subscribe to his channel, watch his videos. Awesome dude. Uh, anyways. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark. Hello. Welcome back to the park. Now we're going to be going it's on good the to bumper be back. cars. And bumper I cars. To this game isn't quite mommy what I thought it would Cal. be. I thought when it was, Are you my mommy? When I first got here, examine device. Mommy. I'll get back to that thought. Because apparently this is important. What? Well, well, I can say for some sort of certainty that that was not normal. Electric therapy? Anyone? One of those abnormal occurrences, and also, what the hell was it? I'm Why confused. was I being electro zapped in a chair? Okay, so to finish my thought, I thought this game was going to be more open world exploration and it kind of is like i don't want to knock it it kind of is but also i'm kind of on a path here i believe i can catch you i just got to find out how and why and also where the hell i am so like what what i mean by that is of course you can go anywhere and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of hidden clues throughout the environment cars. that tell the story in whatever way they can but when i first heard about this game i thought it was going to be like uh you choose the way you go through it, and, and you choose the way you understand. Only one story. way. And I'm not saying that's bad. In that's literally a thought games, that just popped RPG, into my head, and it probably horror, means absolutely adventure. dick diddly. So ignore me. It is only and one way to go. That one on? Forward. Hello. Oh. Hmm. How's it getting any power? There isn't exactly a grid up above there. True. Because the way these things work is they get power by touching the electrified fence on the ceiling. Oh, good accident report. Another one. Great. Francis de Fresne. During de Fresne. the transport of the car, the arena, Fris one of the straps attached to the load of the trunk came untied, causing a cascade of guards onto Francis, who was standing directly in the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the car. Jesus was killed. Dude. <laughs> Dexter claims to have someone at the back of the load undoing the straps. No one else reported seeing anyone. The sheriff requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory in drug screenings for all drivers. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. So was it Chad? Chad! <laughs> whoa. Hey! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Ah. Ah. Okay. That was close. Very <laughs> My body can't stop. Awfully uh, suspicious and odd behavior. Alan, why did you go? Feels like I was about no. to be hit. I never gotten hit before. Just came well, in I did. Here, tried to kill me. Come on, stop playing games with me. No, I'm a I rebel. To be serious for one I hit second. a car Please. at full speed on a tube during Damn. snow time. Face first Damn. into a tire. Shut the door too. Mm. Is that a baby mm -hmm. crying? It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Hey, don't be super negative about self 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 that self negatory. Don't even remember what it was. Don't judge me. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. Cheers. This video is sponsored by Pepsi Cola, vanilla, one of my favorites. It's not, it's just a metaphor, I'm just, thought it would be cool if it was. I'd rather die, I wanted to scream, I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. Yeesh. Instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. she insane or something? Oh, okay, I thought that was Chad over there. It's just a... <laughs> poster of chat okay so that's very interesting why 
What is causing her so much stress? <laughs> like, continue to delay by the incompetence of the I'm not insane, if you guys are wondering. So they believe a lot of the rumors about do Man like Henderson it. used to do I'm here. I'm not. What was it? And why call him part. Old Man Henderson? That's such a nice name for someone who probably ate people. They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potential ones. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies and... That's, 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 Huh? <laughs> huh? I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find a piece of the plans that I'm missing. Hang on, one second. Huh? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? The nexus for dark energy? It's a theme park! <laughs> it's what are you theme doing? Park. Why? That's a good quote. Someone would put an Man, animation on this. This is hilarious on this part. To before. Mommy is coming, Kelm. My God. Oh, good. That baby's back. I baby was got back. I was wondering. Stay where you are. Why is there a baby crying over there? I'll be right with you, baby. Ooh, you're complete, baby. So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. You think the baby it's already been closed? Oh, back in 1980. Yeesh. After touring the park, riding the rides, and viewing the startling number of incidents suffered here in the park, it is the inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand that there is a sensitive political relationship between Mr. Winter and the senator, I nevertheless suggest that the political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides at first glance appear well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during construction lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws, like the nexus for the dark energies. To wit, here is a partial list of the fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Family of three killed. Ugh. 14 separate incidents of broken bones. Three suicides. Suicides. A child seriously injured from the on the escalator. Over a dozen children reported missing in the house of horrors. Ah, yeah, hang on. Wait a minute. What? Over a dozen. A dozen missing children that have not been found yet. Ah, uh, and just maybe we'll close down this fucking place. A dozen maybe. over. A dozen, at least thirteen. Just it to the ground. Kids. Missing. Twelve, uh, actually. Twelve is a dozen. But, you know, Just count the eggs in the vie. carton. You know what I'm talking speed, about. Please. No, not increase. Slow it down. I can't handle it. My stomach won't take it. Decrease. Decrease. Okay. Can I get on it now? Chad, give me a big hug. Oh, oh that Chad. I thought he was talking about his ex-boyfriend, Chad. Oh, well. I'll be sure to look out for any... Oh, hi. Hey, hang on a second. Whoa, what you doing did you guys there? see that? I saw that. I saw that. Anyway, this time it's not going to catch me off guard when a giant monstrosity leans in from the window. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is the peaceful mountain air that I've always been hoping for. Also, didn't they say we were outside of Brooklyn? Why are, why are there mountains? <laughs> Brooklyn's an didn't island. Didn't they say we were also on an island? Why, why are there mountains? People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. What a wise man. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. What's a what's cop a feel? I'm confused about that term. Watching me. Is it something sexual? Or something? He offered to walk me home. I'm still new to the adult life. Eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Of course, all of that does. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. Oh, I, uh, that... I gotta stop here. Um, don't have sex before marriage. Do it after. Do it on a honeymoon, not before. Let that be a life lesson to anyone. People. People sometimes do stupid stuff. But there are good people. Good people to help the world. 
pull itself together again. Anyways, let's continue. Must be that night. One perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Deadpan. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Ah. Uh, oh, it makes sense. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. It makes reason. sense. Really it makes sense. Pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Yeesh. Negative, aren't you? The Ferris wheel that you're on right now. <laughs> and this is your. He's trying to wrap, wrap his mind around theme it. Park. The one where his dad died. The one where his dad died. Blunt. I'm gonna hold my speculation until the giant monstrosity appears out. Oh, oh hi. Hi. Right, you're not the giant monstrosity, but you look monstrous nonetheless. I'm gonna increase the speed and then leave out, and hopefully this thing just tears itself to the ground. Cause I've got Tear some it. questions. Burn the whole thing. I've got. Oh boy, I've got. I just somewhat went so southern there. Questions. What the heck was because, that? Because okay, first off, exactly what I said <laughs> Need a drink. about the story. And second, Sorry. dark Sorry nexus, if you can hear me drink or magical eat. energies. Sorry about that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this on and it's hopefully over 9, it'll just break itself apart because it's probably what it deserves at this point. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, abandoned Ferris wheel. Bye. Is that a fart? Where are you, Cal? What was that sound? Oh, there's still a baby over here. Oh! Oh, did it. Oh, it flung. Oh, it flung one of the wheel cars. Mommy's coming, Callum. Yeah. Yep. Meanwhile, I'm going to reminisce about how shitty my life is. Hello? <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. Goodbye. What was that? Okay. Okay. This isn't a game, Callum. Yeah, Callum. Come on. I'm starting to get angry. Don't don't do what? Yeah, that. Come to mommy, Callum. What? <laughs> don't don't touch what? Callum. She sounds really. Who? Who's watching me? What am I not touching? A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. Bull crap! Bull crap on what she just said. My parents and any of everyone else's parents are lovable and they're good people. Every single one of them. Well, except for the abusive ones. And the ones who abandon each other. So, don't be like that. Not all parents are like that. Anyways, let's continue. And by the way, sound of her voice, she sounds like she's getting angry and angrier. Or more insane. Anyways, let's continue. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears. And he owes me everything. Everything. See what I mean? Serve the little fuck right if I just abandon him. See? Bad. Okay. Bad parent. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Okay. So, who, who is? Again, who? There's some people, and I noticed some He's dude dead? at the Ferris wheel. Is that who you're talking Gone? about? Gone? I've got a ride ticket. Because I, I, I'm willing to bet if I came here without this ride ticket, it would be like, I can't get in without a ticket for some reason. But it's green I now. I wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. What ride? Ah, okay, it's it's your kid's favorite, favorite park. There's literally five rides at your kid's favorite park, 
You never got around to this one. <laughs> you never get around to one of five. Ne never. All right, fine. Man, I, I can understand more. maybe the kid was too. Oh, it's a roller coaster. Riding, never been know? on a roller coaster Not before. Enough, but Not the big ones, anyway. Suspending my disbelief a little bit. That's not the point of this, though. That just irks me a little bit. It's not the oh, point I'm of this story. I'm getting chills down my spine right now. Well, hi. Hello, sir. Oh. Okay, bye. Want... Oh. We need to talk about Caleb. What the hell? What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where what? Is Callum? Poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He oh. <laughs> He's right behind her. He's just so hungry. Uh -huh. Tell me where my son is. Which has it now? Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. This is creeping me out. Just leave me alone. Awesome voice acting. Fool. You always were. I, I always were a fool? Either I'm hallucinating or the dark energies are starting to get to me. Ah! Oh no! Whoa! Holy crap. Okay. That's a little bizarre. That has to do with me being electrocuted. Therapy. I want to get after Mr. Bones Whoa. World Ride. I didn't even read that. What the hell was that? Oh, okay. I can't read those words. They went by too quickly. Neither can I. You can guys pause it after this. Whee! Whoa! Not, Not safe. safe. No joke. I can taste your dreams. What the hell does that mean? Whoa! Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> well, bye, Caleb. <laughs> Holy shit. I have no idea. I have no... I have no idea. I have no idea. What? I have no idea what this game's message or main story is. No, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, like, from what it has shown me, I have no idea. That was a good scene. It works. The calculations and adjustments work. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wunderbar day. If only these people knew what they were fueling. So what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. What the fuck? Oh, he can he stand What is going on? That was a fantastic Nexus voice actor for, for the Freddy Krueger slash Babatook okay, anyway. creature Sorry, I just thing. had to get that out of my system a little bit. That was awesome. I Carrying can help on. You, Callum? Callum? Where you at, Callum? I can help you, apparently. Man, so, okay, so if I was to take a rational approach to this, let me, let me just pause real quick. I, I get to take the flashlight and I get to go into the House of Horrors next. So let me take a rational approach to this, because I... Let me suspend my disbelief for a second and, okay. and get past the weird and try to tap into the actual story here. So, everybody hold on. Everybody get out your notepads because this is going to be complicated. So, old man Henderson used to do something, something on this land. And it's a lot of land. So whatever he did was apparently on a scale to such a large amount that it would have been hard to ignore by anyone, let alone the locals. If there's something on that scale going on that scared like just the locals, you'd think it would have had a farther reach than this, which seems like modern society. But again, push that aside for now. This other guy, Mr. Winter, came here knowing something about the thing that Old Man Henderson was trying to do with the dark energies in this nexus. And so his logical conclusion was to build a theme park. But, and that sounds weird, but here's why, in my understanding. It was to draw people in to do something similar to what old man Henderson was doing, but instead of scaring the people, he wanted to absorb the joy that people were having at the theme park and kind of suck it out of them, like like a little filter for all their joy. They're having a good time, but then it's getting sucked into the energy portal or some bullshit like that. So, I'm confused. With all that being said, he's trying to use it to do something such as make himself immortal, and this main character is caught in the crossfire because she came to this park bringing her sadness 
and she doesn't have happiness, so what she adds to the park is actually negative emotions and negative energy, so that's why she is not having a good time right now. Okay. The witch awaits. The witch awaits. I don't know what the hell that means. That is my thought, because I try to rationalize these things, and apparently the witch awaits, and I know that somehow because I talked to a guy who was sitting spooning me from behind on the roller coaster. Which was very nice, admittedly. Someone has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He so she sounds like she's going insane. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night. He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Okay, so that kind of confirms what I was talking about. He came to this park, and apparently he got possessed by something? I'm not sure if that's the, the right word for it in this universe. Freddy Krueger. That's my thoughts. So either this thing. is a distorted version of reality, and she's having a Don't rough judge time, me. or this is actually no, you guys, you can literally go right here. No, wait, it's either... It's either a distorted version of reality, or this is all in her mind. And I'm leaning towards it's the latter. All in your mind. I don't think that this could be in any way actually real. Okay. The whole town was shocked by that one. E. Never found out who did it. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. Well, wouldn't you know? A appeared to be the remains of a child. Discovered by teenagers from Innsmouth Academy, who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something. Was it an eyeball? It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of the Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with the authorities to bring this case to rest. So what does that bring the grand total up to? Over a dozen plus one now? How many what? kids? I guess this isn't exactly a missing kid. This is just dead. This isn't a game, Caleb. What was that? I heard that. Please. I ain't gonna take you. What are you talking about? What the fuck was that? I didn't see anything, so I wasn't that slow. Hey. Oh, blood. Oh, Caleb, trail of blood. I should follow. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. Maybe if you stop bitching and did your work. <laughs> and by work, I mean push the witch into the oven. And I guess that was the whole reason. Ooh. What is that noise? Hey, stop step stepping. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Oh bastard. You did this to him. Is he dead? I don't He's know. not actually dead, is he? Oh, okay. All right then. Hello. Ugh. Did you do this? Did you do it? Okay, fine. Maybe I should. Ah! Hey! Hi! Hi, Chad! Oh, really? Oh, okay. I, I I knew something was up when I couldn't back up. But, uh, mm. good thing that was totally not a threat to me in any way. That startled me, there? not scared me. Otherwise, I would have thrown my Chad. phone. <laughs> Play Chad? Huh, oh, Chad? ex boyfriend? Is that you step stepping, <laughs> Chad? Huh? Oh. Okay. chills down my spine. Take pill. <laughs> I don't know about I didn't strange bottle of pills. Mm, first thing, take it? Mm, I don't know. Okay, fine. These are mine. These, these, these are mine. They're nice mine and now. heart tattoo. They're mine. Well, just as tasty as I remember. Mm, I'm... Oh. oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Screw so gravity. Leave, leave, destroy reality. <laughs> Fuck gravity. Let's see. Is a fat pig, but his daughter is hot. I can taste your dreams. I remember that. Not safe. Know that. Your mother, Ooh. say no to graffiti. 
Huh. All that you love will be carried away. Don't leave me here, Callum. Well, I took some strange pills, Callum. What have you been doing? Smoking weed. Oh Where the heck am I now? Don't believe anything they tell you. Yeah, I wasn't about to start. Hello? Oh, God. I'm sorry. What is with the voice? Oh. Oh, oh where did I just come from? Ooh, nicely. Your mother? Nicely, I'm, did. I'm not insulting him, oh, I'm just God. talking about the game. Here, Callum. Callum! Dang it, Callum. Bam! Headshot. Okay. Don't touch me. Go, go, go! Oh, okay. Hello! Future times. Belly button is the signature of your personal character. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to the battered goats and sham. Okay, early when I said your mum, your mother thing, comment. I wasn't talking to Mark. I was talking about the, the girl in the game. So, no hating. I'm not a hater. I like Mark. Awesome person. Thing. Man. Urgh. Anyways, let's continue. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Rock afterbirth, only the truly naked wrens of the righteous indignation of severed by war cross cleavages in the trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman and he will shelter the seals that bind the orthodoxy of corruption. Only then will priests shoot sluts reveal housewives pontificate and delayed messiahs make skills. For the rescue of Tango and Cash! Sweet, the temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding with third age tits into fourth age darkness, while gods lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth. Gala has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered and heavy flated hives break before. Frozen wills and celegraphic actresses in pencil and paper pornography. The all-seeing eye will provide decade-long updates on this story going forward. What? You're, uh, yes, thank you. Thank you for the applause, I know. What? That was definitely worth reading right then and there. I'm confused. I'm assuming that was supposed to be gibberish for a reason. Um. I'm sorry. Callum. About what? Pick, pickled, pickled punks. Okay. Pickled oh. Babies. <laughs> pickled okay, babies. Me too. I'm also <laughs> tripping balls. Smoking that weed. Oh. oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, time for a nap. <laughs> well. Okay. Why did I need to take those pills? I, di I didn't actually see myself taking them, so I'm assuming just picking them up made things go wrong. Yep. So that, that was actually all in her mind. So that was an example of what that was. I don't want to see what's going on here. What the hell was all that? Was there really nothing else to that? Is there really nothing else to this dead body over here? That's still over there for some reason? We're not all worried about that. All right, off we go then. Why not? The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. No kidding. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Okay, I gotta stop here. My dad's calling me. <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys if you if you guys didn't see the ending of this video, you can go to Mark's channel, watch this video all the way, and you can see what will happen. So, anyways, I gotta end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Mark's channel, subscribe to him, watch his videos at the, and at the end as and from what I said at the beginning of this video, awesome dude. Uh, let's try and reach ten likes, maybe even ten subscribers. Yay! Uh, be sure to suggest a video for me to react to or a game for me to play in the comments down below. Also, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It's really appreciated. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!